Rukia Tightness Package, a comprehensive facade solution, is based on Ruki energy panels and special accessories. Ruki Air Tightness Package can reduce a building's energy consumption by up to 30% thanks to its excellent air tightness properties. At the same time, the energy rating of your building will improve. Follow the installation instructions to ensure optimal air tightness. Unload energy panels using a crane or forklift, one package at a time. Always pay attention to health and safety aspects when working with the panels. Use the necessary protective equipment. Handle the panels with care and avoid working in strong winds. Upon delivery, make a visual inspection to ensure that the goods have not been damaged during transportation and that no items listed on the delivery note are missing. Using the panel layout drawings, select suitable places around the building site to store the panels. The packaged panels must be stored on level ground. Do not stack the packages on top of one another. Make sure the packages are protected from rain, sun and dirt. Before installation begins, fit the seals on the upper surface of the plinth. Make sure the upper surface is level within a tolerance of 10 mm. It's especially important to check the extension seams of the plinth elements. Fit the expanding seal strip on the top surface of the plinth. If the upper edge of the plinth elements protrudes close to the 10 mm limit in the extension seams, the seal strip should be cut at the protrusion. The extension seams of the expanding seal strip are fitted with a butt joint. Make sure that the 40 mm wide expanding seal is facing inwards. The seal strip must also be fitted to the butt joint at the corners. Fit the plinth purlin around 7 to 9 mm off the surface of the pillar. Make sure the weep holes are on the outside. Together with the weep holes, the film on top of the thermo perforation of the plinth purlin will direct any water potentially lying on the purlin away from the building in a controlled manner. Extension seams should be fitted carefully with a butt joint. Cut the inner flange of the second plinth purlin at the corner. Fit the wool insulation material on top of the plinth purlin. The extension seams of the wool insulation are fitted with a butt joint. Before attaching the first panel, fit the seals on the frame pillars. Use butt joints. Lift the panels on top of the plinth purlin using lifting tools hired from Rootkey. Remember to use safety straps when lifting the panels. Rootkey's energy panels are precision manufactured to guarantee that the grooves will always be a perfect fit. Check that the factory installed EPDM sealing in the grooves is compressed at least 30% of its thickness. Fit the end of the panel approximately 15 mm to the side of the pillar's centerline, leaving a vertical seam of around 30 mm. Add sealant to the outer horizontal groove to an area about the width of the vertical seam flashing. Also add sealant to the inner horizontal groove between the end of the panel and the seal strip on the frame pillar. Remove the rain protection film from the groove. Remove the film just before installing the next panel. This will prevent the wool from getting wet. Please note that the interlocking of panels is not possible if the film is not removed first. Continue the installation one pillar section at a time from bottom to top. The rain protection film can be left in place on the uppermost panel as extra protection for the completed structure. For windows, add the 40mm expanding seal strip to the top of the panel, just in the internal edge and over the panel's steel tongue. Make sure that the plastic is facing inwards. Add the rest of the expanding seal strips to the different sides of the window element. Fill in the rest of the sides with mineral wool. For other parts of the window, Follow the sealing instructions of the window manufacturer. Extend the vapour barrier of the roof structure over the seam between the wall panels and the roof. Fit a seal strip to the inner face of the panels. Install the vapour barrier by fixing the U-flashing on top of the sealing strip. Leave some extra barrier material so that it has some space to move. Remove the protective film from the panels after installing at least one panel on top of the other. In the case of using a vacuum lifting tool, protective film has to be removed before lifting. Any remaining protective film should be removed immediately after installation and no later than once the wall is completed. Removing the protective film is more difficult if left on the panel for extended periods. Fasten the plinth flashing according to the details. The plinth flashings should overlap for 100mm 
using the taper at their ends. For the corner, cut out a piece of the flashing and fold up the seams into a 90 degree angle. Turning the longer fold over the shorter fold closes the seam. Apply elastic polyurethane foam into the vertical seams. Apply from bottom to top, starting from the top of the plinth purlin and tightly against the pillar. A 50mm strip of elastic polyurethane foam is enough. Pack the remaining width of the panel with mineral wool and then tape the joint with joint sealing. Attach the eave profiles on top of the upper element. Attach sealing tapes to the vertical flashings prior to installation. For better air tightness, make sure that the gap between the frame pillars and the plinth is properly sealed at the extension seams of the plinth elements. When using lifting doors, also pay extra attention to sealing the bottom edges of the doors. Rookie Energy Panels with Air Tightness Package Proven Energy Efficiency